It's about this time, Legacy. strap yourselves in, Legacy. let's take you on this ride, yeah. with Next Legacy, Go. we a radio station for the people, right here, for you people. providing hella heat, let's, go. Yeah. let's get to it. Next Legacy Radio, we're coming through your room Interviews on deck with guests listening to Hashtag and imagine if it was you What's happening, we packing with people coming through How about you? Lace it up, we ready, providing hella heat Turned up, we racing to it, track me Y'all ready for this journey of a lifetime This next Legacy agent just like fine wine Tune in NextLegacy.com Getting you ready for this interview. Let's get to it. Radio station for the people. Yeah. We got hella heat. We got hella heat. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. All right. This is Next Legacy Sports. I am Charles. I am Brandon Madison, and I am here with the beautiful guests. Uh, listen, as the football season progresses this uh, the spring, summertime, um, I just want everybody to get to know this young lady and plenty of others who are actually uh, taking or partaking, I guess you could say, in the Women's Football League, um, Music City Misfits. Mandy Allison is my guest. And how are you? I'm great. How are you guys? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. First off, thank you for uh, taking the time to 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 come on to the show. But also, um, I, I've I've started to really get to know the the women's football league and its players and the teams and the cities and everything else. And and I'm I'm very very intrigued and also very inspired because I think it's a beautiful thing to be able to see and witness that. There are so many um, women like yourself that have have a passion for football, oh, and yeah. I, I just want I just want to take a moment, like before we start getting into other questions. How did you, or I should say, what made you fall in love with football? Um, actually, I've always I've always loved football. Um, I didn't know much about it until I really started playing myself. Uh, I actually. I'm I'm a, actually more of a soccer player myself. I played soccer for 27 years, um, and I just kind of got into football. Uh, I knew one of the coaches. He was a friend of mine, and he kind of told me I should try out, give it a shot, and I, I was lucky enough and honored to actually be able to make the team, and I don't regret a single ounce of it because everyone, the, the coaches, the girls on the team, they're just amazing and awesome, and they – they really help you and they support you and they push you and motivate you in such a positive way. And I, I love and I'm honored to be a part of a team like that. So sounds like teamwork is, is part of the, uh, the essence of it all, but um, you being a soccer player for a long period of time and picking up football, was it, you know, a lot of people say soccer is football, you know, depending on what parts of the country that you're in, but um did you were you able to pick up football american football pretty quickly or did it take you a minute to kind of figure it out yeah i mean i picked it up fairly decently i mean i'm still learning it every single day i mean there's even if you've been a veteran i mean you can always learn something new um i i'm you know i'm pretty athletic overall uh, as you know i can i can pick up things pretty quickly but I mean, it's it's definitely a challenge. It's a definitely a lot more physical um, than what I'm used to, um, but I definitely love it. Um, and it's it's just an awesome sport. I I've grown to respect football and the women who play it and the men who play it a lot more. And I love that now I actually can understand football more than I did even before in the positions. It's just it's awesome. And and I'm still learning. So and I I love that. I love learning new things, so it's awesome. I'm I'm excited. What's your What's your current position that you're playing right now? I I'm kind of all over the place. Um, I've I've been practicing um safety. Uh, I've been mostly playing a defensive end. When we had our scrimmage at Nissan Stadium, uh, 
I played defensive end for a little bit there, and I really love that position a lot and trying to get to sack their quarterback if I can. Uh, I've got, got a little bit of speed on me, so I can try to get back there pretty quick. Um, I'm also really, uh, because of my soccer skills, um, I, I do kicker, uh, kicker and punter as well, so that's that's a lot of fun. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. So you have you have multiple positions that right. you play. Yeah, wherever um, the coaches want me, so. <laughs> but, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to to how you explained it when you say that you were trying out. Um, when you were trying out, did you have aspirations of okay? Well, I hope I make the team, or did you feel like it was a sure in because for whatever reason, because it was somebody you knew, or did you have to work just as hard to do the tryouts as well? Yeah, I mean, I had to work just as hard as everybody else. I, I was really nervous. I, I'm i like, man, I don't know if I'm going to make the team because, you know, it's just, it's football and I, I know yeah. soccer and, you know, I'm, I'm athletic and I can pick things up, but I was just like, man, I don't know. I really hope I make the team because these coaches and these, these women on this team, like they're awesome and I'd love to be a part of it. I just hope that I, I'm good enough and I can prove that, that I deserve and I can be on this team. So it was just such an honor when they, when they said that I made the team and I was like, no way. And I, you know, I, they, they're open to teaching me any and everything, answering any and every question that I have. And so that, that really helps a lot and, and they're there for you no matter what. So definitely, definitely awesome. So what, what is your, what is your practice consist of not just being part of the music city misfits, but um, how their practice coincide with, what your normal workout routine is as well um it's it's very similar i mean obviously football practice is a lot more intense than what i'm no what I'm used to doing on my own um but i mean it's like i said it's it's pretty intense but i mean it's it's different every week uh sometimes we pr practice offensive drills uh positions and things like that we go over you know just just all kinds of things like that and it's it's similar to, um, you know, when I played soccer and when we did practicing and some of the drills are similar to when I played soccer or some of the drills that I do on my own in my own free time as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it's, it's really, for me, it picks up. Cause I'm like, Oh, I played, you know, I did that drill in soccer. Oh, I do that drill on my own. And so it's a lot of, you know, some days we do a lot of hardcore sprinting and doing a lot of running. Some days it's just straight tackling and we're doing hardcore one-on-ones and, and a team effort scrimmages and things like that. So it just depends. It's always whatever, you know, it's always a surprise. And I love that, you know, it's always something different, always something new. So during that, pro during this process then, because I feel like you have a lot of athleticism in your, in your DNA, um, clearly soccer for over 20 years, that will kind of do it. Right. Like, right, yeah. <laughs> you know, but what, what have you learned about yourself thus far? Um, playing in this women's league that you didn't know about yourself? Um, I'm definitely, I've learned that I can take some hits. <laughs> hey. I, I was like, man, I, I've taken some hits from the, the my own teammates. And I'm like, dang, these girls, <laughs> you know, they just lit me up, you know, but I took it and I got back <laughs> up and just kept going. I'm like, man, I got hit pretty hard there. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's do it again. You know, <laughs> and it's, I didn't think I could take some of these hits that, that some of these girls on my team that, that they put out, but I mean, just gotta get back up. It's part of the game. You gotta learn to take a hit. And that's, that's my biggest thing is take a hit, get back up, keep going, hit them back even 10 times harder if you can, you know? So. <laughs> why, why does that sound like life lessons too though? Like, Hey, if you get knocked down, pick yourself up, yeah, exactly. get back up, go handle your business. <laughs> yeah. Just get back up, <laughs> dust yourself off, get back up, go back, get up even stronger and harder. So. Because I, I look at I look at sports as is also an extension of you know gifts that you already have that you're just unlocking as you go through your your you know your life cycle right as you go right. through your day to day life to whatever you just learn more about it and you know I, I I look at I look at what you and others are trying to do to be able to spread awareness and I think about these young girls who you know I mean there's a lot of young ladies out there that's avid football fans and you know people are supporters and you know they see all the nfl and the xfl and the right. ifl and all that stuff right but you know they're searching for 
women's leagues and things like that. And what I learned too is like there's a lot of leagues out there that there's not enough uh, attention put on it as well. So when you when you look at it and you think about these young girls and you think about opportunity that I feel like you can have as well as not just your team, but right. you know your other peers in the league, um, it's a pretty cool thing that you could be able to see this from the ground up, right? Oh yeah, it's it's crazy because I didn't even know how like all the football teams and the leagues for women that there are, and it's just yeah. amazing, you know. I just I'm like I didn't even know that there were all these out here. Like I wish we could get women like just women's football, women's sports like more out there. I respect the men, of course, but if we could just get the women just to be more out there and just show like, hey, look, we can do it too. I mean, that's awesome. I do my best to try to promote that as much as possible and just put put us out there and the team, we all try to put ourselves out there, just book women's football in general. Right. Women's sports in general. We try as hard as we can to put it out there. So it's it's a team effort, but it takes time too. So have you had young ladies, the little girls around that's uh super juiced by uh seeing you play <laughs> and 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 just kind of watching as as things kind of progress so far in the league? Yeah, I mean, I've had I've had a couple couple girls um, that were in high school. Um, I was wearing a football jersey, and they asked asked about it, and I I mentioned it to a to them and told them like, hey, you know, and they're like, you don't play football. I'm like, yeah, I, I do. I mean, we're getting there, and you know, it's it's awesome. You should totally check us out. I'll show them, you know, our Facebook, our Instagram. And they're like, no way, that's so cool, and you know, it's it's awesome to see young girls kind of ask questions and look um, up to you and just say, Hey, you know, I play, I'd like to play. And I'm like, look, you can do it too. It doesn't matter. You just got to work hard and put in the effort, you know, and, and you'll get there. And I have, I actually have a 12 year old. I have a daughter myself and I was talking to her. I'm like, you know, if you ever want to play football, mom's here for you. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's try, what's to, up. try to guide her and push her if she wants to. I mean, I'll support her, whatever she wants to do. She plays soccer as well, but anything she wants to do even if you know cheerleading anything and I, I support her 100 percent, whatever she chooses so wow that's cool though i mean you know knowing not just you know the fact that you have you know kid kids that that is doing that but also just you know people can see you listen i i want to i want a mandy allison jersey and if i put it on <laughs> somebody asks hey who's who's that and I, i'm gonna tell the whole story as far as how how that goes and i think it's it's super important um to put it out there even from from men, like, you know, I'm, I'm asking you from a woman's perspective, what do you think about the young ladies, this, that, and the other, but also the men um, and the young young men out there who can be inspired by the things that you you do, not just you, but, you know, your peers in the league and things like that as well. So have you had that same kind of energy put out there from us guys as, as opposed to other women as well? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's funny because I, I would think most guys might be like, oh, well, you, you know, women can't play football. They shouldn't be playing football, you know. And I've actually gotten pretty great feedback from, you know, from the male perspective saying like, wait, what? You play football? Like, that is, that's awesome. Like, you must, you know, what position do you play? You know, I get, I get that all the time. They're like, that's actually really like awesome that you play. Like, yeah. we'd love to come and watch. And I'm like, yeah, like, come, come watch us, you know, come play and you know, check us out and see, or I'm sorry, see how we play, you know, and it's cool to kind of get the guy's reaction. And it's funny to see, cause they're like, what? Like girls playing football. Cause I'll be honest. I was, I was kind of that way. I'm very, women can do anything and everything like that, but I don't know about football, but then, yeah. you know, you, my whole mindset was changed when I actually tried out myself. I actually got to be around women at that play and understand it and that could actually really you know teach me give me the knowledge and and things like that and now i'm like i can't believe i even thought like a woman can't or shouldn't play because i love it it is so much fun i love the energy i love the contact like i just i love being around it i love playing the sport and i love learning everything on a regular basis just something new that i didn't know or a new drill or a new move you know and it's it's awesome it completely changed my mindset i think if people were a little bit more open to that and being that you know anything literally anything not just some things like we can do it all right you know, sometimes better at, at, at any age any gender whatever you know it's it's just awesome to see about the sport of football 
and the length of time that you've played it and the fact that you're still learning it as you're playing, right. what, what, what has excited you to the point where it's like, yo, this or that or whatever it is, is actually pretty dope. Like what, what about the sport so far that's actually kind of captured your attention to that point? Honestly, it's funny because there's a lot of similarities in soccer with, as there is with football. Um, a little, you know, some things I'm like, oh, okay, you know, because in soccer we have the last defenders, typically, you know, it's the sweeper. Well, in football, it's the safety. So it's safety sweeps the field. And in soccer, they sweep the field, you know. Right. And so I'm like, what? Okay, like, I get it. I know what that position is. I know what that position does. You know, it's a little different, obviously, but... I get it. And it's just like, wow, this is awesome. Okay. It's, I'm not kicking it. Now I'm holding it, throwing it, catching it, you know, and now I got to use my hands or I'm used to using my feet, but it's just that moment where it's like, wow, I can, you know, I can do this. You know, when I, when I catch a football and when I throw a spiral, like a perfect spiral, I'm just like, oh my God, I got this. Like I can do it. <laughs> now I get so stoked, like, oh my gosh. Or they'll say, okay, like, Mandy do it through perfect spiral. Oh, oh yeah. Mandy caught that. Or even if I go and take a hit or I go and make a hit, they're like, okay, I see you, Mandy. And I'm like, yeah, that was me. I did that, you know? There it is. There you it get is. get pumped up for all that stuff. You know, it's just an adrenaline, adrenaline rush for sure. It's fun. I love that because <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's different. And I feel, I feel like you can teach me a lot about soccer. I mean, I've been to maybe a couple <laughs> of uh, MLS games in my lifetime, but right. – do I know all the rules? No. Yeah. But I played football in college. I've watched it. I feel like all my life and I know it like it's breathing. Right. So there's right. a lot of, there's a lot of ways that you can be able to learn a lot from other people. So I'm telling you for the lifetime that I'm knowing you, you need to probably school me on some, yeah. on some soccer <laughs> stuff. Like seriously though. So, um, but I think it's cool. I mean, the fact that you can be able to take something from another sport and use it um, in another one is 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 pretty cool though. It's pretty cool. What about um, the the your your peers in the game, your your teammates? You mentioned earlier that you know it's a pretty good camaraderie and stuff like that as far as welcoming you in. Um, have you had moments where you know the competition? Um, you know, is is like you mentioned tackling earlier. Is it is it usually like that? It's like damn, they're they're coming at me this hard in, in, in practice. So uh, it's a whole different deal. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it, like I said, it can get pretty intense sometimes where I'm just like, Oof, man, I don't know. Like, I question it sometimes because I'm just like, oh, man, they got me good or, you know, and it's but it's it's more of a mindset. Like, I, I'm my worst. Oh, I'm my own worst enemy. I'm you know, I don't. I don't need to get yelled at for messing up. I yell at myself because I'm I'm the hardest on myself. My coaches, my team, they they know I'm really hard on myself, especially if I don't get it right. I'm very, very much of a of a perfectionist, and I like to try to make sure to be to be the best that I can be. But my biggest thing is I need to remember that I'm not perfect. I'm still learning the sport. I'm still learning new drills. I'm still learning everything, um, and that's my biggest thing that uh, I need to work on as far as myself. And it's great to have a team that they're the same way, you know, they're very, very motivating. You know, we have times where we're down on ourselves and our biggest thing is we literally are family and we just come together. Like whenever any of us get down, we just tell each other, Hey, you got this, like, get back up. Look, try doing it this way. Instead, you're doing it this way. Try doing it this way, or this is the proper way to do it. And, mm -hmm. and that helps greatly because it's like, Oh, okay. And things start to click, you know? Oh, okay. I get why you're doing it. Why we do it this way, not right. that way. And so it's, it helps and you learn and and the team everybody's everybody's just like that we all learn something new every day so what what are some of the biggest uh because you've been in league for how long uh, i'm a rookie this year so this is my first hey. year <laughs> i'm super excited i cannot wait <laughs> excited so and wait so wait let me let me come a little closer is there any rookie hazings going on that you are aware of and how to how to stay avoid how to avoid all that so <laughs> No, I'm not really. There's not much, not much rookie hazing or anything like that. A lot of it is they're the girls are just super positive and the coaches are just super positive. Um, the biggest thing is just paying attention, making sure that you're listening, not talking when the coach is trying to teach you something. Um, 
those are just big things that we just got to make sure that, you know, we keep, keep track of each other, that we're paying attention and everything like that. But otherwise, I mean, I think the only thing is I, <laughs> I think I was talking one time uh, when a captain was speaking and she threw a football at me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I was like, hey, shut up, stop talking. All right. That, that was about it. It wasn't. We don't. We don't. There's not any hazing. Anything. I'm like a. I'm a speak God, it up though. God. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna speak it up though. Mandy Allison, Rookie of the Year for the Women's Football League. You heard it here first. Um, no pressure though. No pressure. Oh, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. What I mean, Rookie Year. So I know it's exciting for you, especially with the with the season coming out. So. Um, have you gotten any from anything from the the ladies as far as when the schedule was released? All right, April, we're playing this X team, and these are our rivals. So we need to make sure that our our game is is lit up even more so than before. Have you gotten little conversations when it comes to some of the other vets? Yeah, I mean, we we already have our schedule out and everything. It's on the Facebook uh, Music City Misfits um, with the Z Misfits. Um, it's on the Facebook, the Instagram, as far as the schedule. Um, our first game, I believe, is away April 22nd. Um, and it's 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 going to be pretty pretty crazy and pretty intense. I look forward to it. Um, we do look at, you know, talk about all kinds of different, um, t- the different teams and everything like that. What they, what, you know, is this a fast team? Is it, is it a passing team? Do they, is it a running team? Like what, what plays do these teams do? And they kind of, the vets really, and the coaches um, let us rookies know, uh, hey, this is what this, you know, we got to watch out for these players. We got to watch out for this team. This team is a right. fast team. So we need our fast players. We really got to watch these players. Um, so they really give us the information and everything as much as possible from from when they played last year and just telling us, like, how to be prepared and what to expect. Um, you know, some teams, they have a really strong line and they just explode. And so giving us information like that, okay, knowing that this team is going to come at us and explode right when the ball goes, that's when we got to go 10 times harder because we got to be ready for that. You know, when they're coming off, we got to come off 10 times harder than they are. Um, and so that's that's the biggest thing that a lot of the vets and our coaches have been telling us, is us rookies, not under not knowing or understanding certain things about the game or the teams that we're coming up against here pretty soon. So um, it's awesome to get – to see that and everything. I know we do have a scrimmage in March. Um, we're still learning a little bit more information about that, but we can get that to you and, and everybody as well who, who would like to come and represent for us too. Yeah, it, it's it's going to be exciting to just kind of go through your uh, your team's journey. I mean, you know, all the women out there playing in the league, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm creating a, a nice little bond with the Misfits right now. It's just super <laughs> cool though. Um, you know, I kind of like that. Um, but also, I mean, and I'm not trying to be biased, but you know, like I said, just Mandy Allison, rookie of the year, uh, for the music city <laughs> misfits is my guest on next legacy sports. But, um, you've been an athlete for a long period of time from just gathering it just from this conversation. Um, women athletes, just like women journalists, um, you know, not just based on, you know, paid notoriety, all that stuff, um, needs to have more of a voice or I guess you can say be let into the arena, I guess you can say. Um, I think it's very important in breaking down barriers and things like that. I mean, I know it's cliche to say, but also I think it's necessary. Do you look at yourself as an athlete that is breaking down barriers for you know, just everybody can be included, not just because you're a woman. Right. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm I'm trying the best that I, I can. I'm I'm one person just trying to make a difference. But sometimes it's all it takes is one person. And for us, we have a whole football team. We've got other women. We've got other supporters. We've got other, you know, men as well. People just trying to help us get the name out there and just women's sports in general, just trying to get like you said like more more notoriety and more of like an even playing field I guess you can say um we're really trying to do that I know I'm I'm trying my myself as well I'm trying to really just get it out there and and be a part of that change and part of that difference as much as possible if I can so it's it's a work in progress though it's it's not easy but we're trying for sure (laughs) what as as an athlete what's what's been um I guess you can say um uh, I'll, I'll go highs and lows or, you know, successes and challenging things as far as being an athlete, not just um, a football player, but even just, 
you know, as a soccer player, just an athlete, period. Like, um, not just tell me, but the listeners and the people who will be listening as well. Like, you know, it's it's not all like, you know, roses and um, unicorns and (laughs) and rainbows and stuff like that. It's not easy. But also, I know there's a lot of great moments. And then what are some challenges that you face as well? Um, Well, for playing like a new sport, me being a rookie, my biggest challenge personally is really just understanding the game, understanding the positions, what each position is important. You know, it's it's not what position is the best or anything like that. Every position has its own job. Every position is important. Um, And so learning that what every single position is. um, Again, I'm still learning. I'm still understanding all of that and everything. And just how important that job is. Like when you're in, you know, when you're in this position, this is what your job is. This is what you need to do. And you need to do the best that you can at it. You know, you're not going to be perfect. Um, I think that's my biggest thing is I try to be as perfect as I can. And I know that I'm not. Um, So that's my biggest challenge really is myself. Um, Just reminding myself that it's okay. You got this messed up, fix it. Don't let it happen again learn from your mistakes and get back up and just keep going. And so again, my, that's my, my biggest uh, hurdle is just trying to not be so down on myself that yes, this is a new sport. This is a new thing for me. I'm still learning, you know, I'm not going to be the MVP unless I push myself really hard. If that's what I want, then I got to earn it. I got to push for it and I got to work for it. Um, And so that's really been probably my biggest hurdle in not just even in football, just soccer sports in general is just right. always learning. And that's, and that it's okay to mess up, but you got to fix it. And so that's, that's probably been my biggest challenge is just learning to, to just fix whatever I did wrong and try to be the best that I can be. So. How do you handle um, just life in general after sports? Um, mainly because you, you say you have a 12 year old, right? Yeah. Daughter. Um, so that means you're fam in, in the family way. So how do you juggle personal life and being an athlete as well? Oh, uh, it's definitely time management. Um, I'm a single mom and I, I have my daughter full time and I work full time. And so I try to just make sure that can I work? Can I take my daughter to school? Can I take her? to her sports because she plays sports too. Mm -hmm. Um, And then can I play my sport that I want to play and have all of that and just really just time management. Like, you know, what, what days can I take her? What days maybe can I ask a friend to help um, maybe take her for me or things like that. And luckily I've been blessed and, and again, just lucky enough to be able to do all of that and be able to do it by myself. And sometimes I've got great friends and family that can, help here and there. Um, my friends are my family as well. So when I say family, I don't have any family that, uh, necessarily live out here, but my friends are my family too, neighbors, all of that. And so when, when I need it and anything, they're always there to help and be there for me when, when I can and when they can. Um, and so that's kind of just been how I've been dealing with life is just, I work in the morning, I come home, Uh, My daughter takes the bus home. I get home right, right at the same time as she does make dinner, everything like that. And then if I got practice at night, she comes with me and we go to practice together and (laughs) she does her homework, come right back home. That's what's up. That's what's up. I I like, I like the fact that, um, you're, you're including her in a lot of pieces of what you do, because I'm sure, you know, cause I'm inspired by you. So, you know, clearly your daughter sees you you know, almost 24 seven, right. For the most oh, part, yeah. so I know she's excited and intrigued and everything that a 12 year old should be at that time, you know, still growing. So I love the fact that inclusion is cool because oh, yeah. um, I, I think it's important. I have a 20 year old daughter and, and just, uh, you know, letting her in and having fun and being transparent is, is cool as far as being a parent. So, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's a fun time in, 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 in people's lives and things like that too. And I mean, the fact that you are juggling so much um, with everything that you have going on, definitely commend you as well. And, you know, Thank for you. all the people out there that's just trying to find their way as far as what to do, how to do it, 
you know what, today, mm, I don't know if I should go pra- go to practice today, but, you know, you kind of need to go in order yeah. for you to stay on, on top, on, on edge. It's just like going to the gym, right? Like, oh, yeah. you, know, you set a goal of going, you know what, I'm going to go four times a day. But that third day, you're like, Ugh, I don't know, I don't want to do it. But then something in you says, you know what, forget it, let's go. Got to do it. So for all the people out there that's literally trying to, fit their world into what's going on or whatever, what would you say to them? Honestly, if I can do it, I think anybody can. I mean, like I said, I'm a single mom. I work full time. I also play football. She has got her own sports. I mean, if I can do it and I can do, you know, do figure out a time management plan, um, I think anybody can do it because that's, it's definitely not easy. um, But if you want it bad enough, you can definitely do it. Right. Find that support, get that support, use that support if you can. Um, I mean, I include my daughter in, in almost everything that I do, um, especially with football. She's my biggest cheerleader, my biggest support. Um, she's just amazing. She really pushes me when I'm not feeling good, if I'm not feeling up for it. I mean, she's there for me, pushing me the whole the whole way, telling mm-hmm. me I can do it. Um, and so, like I said, if if anybody, you know, if I can do it, anybody can, um, you just, you just got to find, figure out what the resources are that are available out there. Um, if, you know, I was able to do it, like I said, most of my family's in California, Louisiana, I mean, they're all over the place and I, I don't have any, any blood family other than the people that I've made friends with my, my family at the football team, my work friends and family. I mean, that's that's my family really um, that's out here and so i have to learn to figure that out and and be able to to do all that but like i said if i can do it and i don't have you know any any blood family out here anything like that i mean anybody can definitely just just figuring it out and really researching it and doing what you got to do and honestly if you just ask the question to people like i didn't know if i could bring my daughter to football practice you know i mean is, is she allowed, you know, is she allowed to come? Is she, can she come to the, you know, can she be on the field? You know, so right. things like that. And honestly, if you just ask the question, you'll find that most of the time, like they're totally open to being there for you and supporting you and trying to help you the best that they can to, to make that happen so that you can be a part of the team and, you know, anything like that. It's really just asking the question and, and time management is my biggest thing. That's that transparency part of just being open to share. You know how some people will be strong willed and say, hey, you know what? I got this regardless, you know, or some people are afraid to ask for help or some people people are just like, you know what? I don't want to ask because I know it's going to be a no. You don't know if it's going to be a no until you ask. And maybe you might say no, but someone, you know, it's. You know, it's different layers to how people go about doing things. And I think it's cool that, you know, inclusion and just, you know, trusting the process as far as, you know, what you want to be and what you want to do is super cool. So, right. um, so rookie of the year, Mandy Allison of the Music City <laughs> Misfits is my guest. And, and what else do you do outside of being an athlete and a mom? Um, what are other things that you like to do? in addition to what you're doing now? (laughs) Um, I'm, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm a bit of a homebody. I do like to relax at home, watch movies and stuff like that. Um, But I do love to go out. I love all kinds of music, country, hip hop, pop, you know, anything like that. I love to go out on night on the town just to do some line dancing. I'm still learning how to do that. Okay. Um, Hanging out with friends. I love bowling. Um, you know, just things like that, going to festivals, um, definitely going to sporting events. I love going to sporting events. Um, the Titans and the Jaguars were my first, uh, real NFL game that I got to go to. And that was, that was awesome. That was the day we scrimmaged, um, against, uh, the East Tennessee Valkyrie. So, um, it just, I love anything like that, you know, just really getting out there, going out, having fun. Um, even just going for a walk at the park with my dogs and stuff, you know, it's, stuff like that it's it's a lot of fun so that's that's so, kind of what i like to do in my free time if i can <laughs> out of all that that you said all right so uh, i'm i'm just gonna pick bowling as a thing that you mentioned you say you like it yeah. so are you good though that's the question I, I in the beginning i'm usually not i'm a little rusty but once i start getting going and i get my groove and i know i'm a pretty decent bowler i'd like to say i i can bowl pretty good 
pretty good. <laughs> All right, look, 100, 200, perfect game. What? What are you doing right now? Like, what? What's now, what's your? Now I wouldn't say a perfect game. I'm not quite there yet, <laughs> <laughs> but definitely maybe in the oh, hundreds, close to a hundred at least. I'll be all right. <laughs> okay, okay, I can respect that. I can respect I'm that. Trying. <laughs> Listen, we'll we'll have to see one day you versus me or me versus you, whatever you want to call it. Right. <laughs> um, athletes versus journalists or whatever, and see what yeah. what what it's going to look like. Not saying that I'm great either, because, you know, like you, um, a slow burn and then it can turn into an inferno. Just watch out. Right. Not saying I'm going to throw a perfect game on you, but hey. Oh, my gosh. Hey, never know. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So with you being a rookie with the Misfits um, and this is your first year, where do you want to take this? Period. Ooh, honestly, I'd like, I mean, if I had it my way, I'd like to take it as far as I possibly can. Um, I really would love that because soccer was my main passion and I just loved that sport. I played it for so long. Um, but now it's, I still love soccer, but football, I mean, I just really love it. I'm starting to get a real passion for it really loving the sport, loving my teammates, just loving the game and the positions and all of that. And, you know, if I can go as far as I can with it, I would love, love to do that. Um, but it's all really going to depend on myself and the hard work and energy and, you know, effort I put into getting, getting there. And so that's going to take a lot. And so really it's up to me if I want to, how far I want to want to go and push it and, and get there. So Again, if as far as I can go with it, that's what I would I would absolutely love to do. But again, I just I got to work for it, and it's gonna be gonna be some okay. hard work. So okay, well, I mean, I I could see just your your you know everything that you are talking about and everything that you're trying to do move moving forward, and I could see nothing but you know effort and hard work, and you know, and that's the one thing that I believe in. Like, yeah. you know, the results will be what it is, but as long as you put that effort in. Um, nobody can't really deny that. I mean, you can't fake effort. Right. I mean, you could try, but at the same time, the results is going to be what it is. Right. But exactly. I, I always say, hey, you know what? No matter what grade you get or no matter what you played, if you played your best, the results are going to be what it is. And if it exactly. just so happens that you win, cool. Um, but as long as you put that effort in, I think that's important. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that's going to tell you right there how bad you wanted it, how hard you work for it. It's just the yeah. results. See, that applies to sports, relationships, friendships, life. Oh, See yeah. How we, how we brought that back full circle? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's in everything, your everyday life. <laughs> Got that right. Got that right. So in, in closing, a couple of questions before I let you go is, uh, one is, you know, this is a radio station, play music. So um I'm not going to ask you what's in your playlist right now. That'll be last, but right. <laughs> but the one question I do have is what is your best music decade? Oh man. I definitely, I definitely have to go with uh, probably the nineties. I mean, I don't mean I was born in 1989, but I mean, I listened to music. I mean, I listen to eighties music too, but I don't know. I just don't think you can beat the nineties. I just love the nineties and everything country, hip hop, pop, rock, everything. It's just, honestly, that's what, that's my, I have a, my Spotify actually is a, I have a pumped up jam is my, my Spotify. Okay. That's what the music, that's the music that I listen to when I'm playing football and it, it consists of nineties rock and just some hip hop too in there. I got some pop. It's just anything that I feel that's going to pump me up. You know, I got ACDC in there. I got, you know, all kinds of people in there. I got Tupac in there. It's just a mixture. It's just how I'm feeling. And it's it's on shuffle, so it'll surprise me. One song's hip-hop, another's, you know, some rock. and I love it. So, yeah. I love it. <laughs> okay, listen, I, I get the 90s, so I'm not I'm not going to – I'm going to throw something out there because, you know, it, I always talk about, like, what, what decade is, is, is one where <laughs> – your your most you're gonna remember the most or it's gonna tug on your heartstrings and you know 90s yes you can't deny the 90s is definitely uh definitely has that 
Yeah. Um, me personally, I, I love the '80s for this reason. You, you you can't beat the diverse music that was played there. Not just you know uh, hip hop at its height, at its birth, I guess you could say in a lot of ways, but also you you had Madonna in her prime. You had light and hard rock that was you couldn't go wrong with Van Halen. Yeah. You couldn't go wrong with Thompson Twins, Duran Duran. You couldn't go wrong with fill in the blanks. And let me take it let me take it a step further. You can't go wrong with any of the movie soundtracks that came off of those at those particular times as well. So, you know, you name a movie, clearly there was music that you will never ever forget that movie because of those mm -hmm. songs too. So, just throwing it out there. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Throwing it out there. Um you kind of mentioned your playlist, so I was going to ask you that, too. So outside of that, you have a workout playlist. You have your own personal playlist. Like, what's what's in it? What what consists of, like, maybe just you just go top five? Oh, man. I mean, I got I got all kinds of it. Really, like I said, it, I do have my own playlist that I listen to, and I listen to it before every practice. I'm bumping it really loud in there. Uh, I gotta say, I have probably, oh man, I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, I, I like, I got some ACDC, I got some Metallica in there. I've got, I've even got some Jelly Roll. I've okay. got Tupac. I've got, uh, let's see. Yeah. I mean, I've got all kinds of, it just, anything that's going to pump me up. I got Future in there. I've got just everything, hip hop, rock, pop. I got Whitney Houston in there even me up on some days, you know, uh, just that's probably got what's in my playlist really right now. I do have some, you know, newer artists that, that aren't, are up and coming and everything. I got Nate Smith. Sometimes I got some songs in there, a little bit of country in there, um, certain songs, but I mean, that's, that's my playlist. I, I listen to quite a bit. So I love I love diversity in what you're what you're listening to and and what you're paying attention to. I love it. Um, you know, we should uh, be, we should be a diverse culture to the point where, you know, hey, let me let me throw this in. Not just listening, but just you know, getting to know, grow, figure things out. Like you know, it's always good to not just hear it, but it to put it into action too. It's always a good look. So. Um, right. You know, hey, you you're you're impressing me more and more <laughs> as I'm talking to you. So I'm I'm impressed. And listen, in closing, I I want I want you to just go ahead and give shout outs to whoever you want to give shout outs to. The floor is yours. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you. I um, definitely want to shout out to my daughter, my number one, of course, Taylin. Uh, definitely want to thank her and everything. Definitely my family, um, everywhere in California, Louisiana. Um, probably my coworkers. For sure, my Music City Misfits team, the coaches, I love you guys so much. Um, thank you guys for always being there for me, friends, family, um, just supporting our team. Um, I just, that's that's my shout out. And of course, uh, probably my number one besides my daughter is God overall. I mean, I be I'm a believer in everything and God has done nothing but bless me and be there for me no matter what. So those those are the people I got to give my shout outs to. And of course, next legacy. Thank you as well. So, <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I always want to pay it forward with, um, you know, I, I, I think about social media and I always feel like, you know, it could be a blessing and a curse in a lot of different ways. Right. Because of what right. you see, exactly. not only that, what you experience and or what you hear. But, you know, I always try to look at it on a on a positive, solid note when you can be able to cross paths with. Um, you know, like-minded people and people who are, who are on a mission to grow and move forward, right? So, um, you know, I am including you in that circle because, you know, there's just, you know, some way, shape, or form that there is reasons why we are put in this position to be able to do what we do, get to know people in whatever arena, and, you know, just be inspired by. It. So, you know, it was it was easy for me to latch on to you for those reasons. Thank you. And, um, and as we continue to grow and get to know and you know experience uh, what life has to offer, I mean, I could just only see this you know getting a lot more closer. So, you know, I appreciate you for sure. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Hopefully, we can get more people to 
to come watch our games, support us, you know, and definitely thank you for your support as well and reaching out to, to us and everything is, and it's just awesome to, to see that and feel that people are seeing us, you know. That's the mission though, really, is just to be able to get more awareness to what is going on that I feel like is super, super positive. Um, and I think we're on the right track. So as long as we continue to keep doing this and having fun doing it, yeah. I mean, everybody's going to be like, oh, they're having fun over there. I want to go yeah. there. I'm going to <laughs> like, come on. You Absolutely. know what I mean? <laughs> it's it's going to be a good look. And I can't, I can't thank you enough. Not just, um, you know, giving me your thoughts and things like that as you enter your rookie season with the Music City Misfits but also just getting to know you a little bit more as we go and grow. And, um, and, you know, here's to, here's to more experiences that we will share together too. So this is only the beginning. So big things coming. I feel it. Right. Yeah. It. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I feel it. For sure. Yep. And on that note, I appreciate you. Thank you again. And I'm sure throughout the course of the season coming up and even before the season, you know, you know, you got to circle back and give me some thoughts on practice. And like I said, when I get out there, um, you know, I, I, I want the live interviews uh, before and after games, all that good stuff. So this is going to be the start of a lot of good, good and great things. Yeah. Coming, so I believe it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we can always, you know, you can always reach out to any of us anytime and we definitely would be ha love to have you guys and uh, we'd be happy to, to interview and all of that. So, I mean, like I said, anytime you're always welcome to reach out and to any of us really, and we we're totally be, be happy to, to speak and interview with you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mandy rookie of the year, Allison, my guest <laughs> next legacy sports. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for reaching out. It means a lot. <laughs> you got it.